Hello everyone and welcome back to Kit and K Cooking. Today we are making blueberry scones. So I hope you have your ingredients in front of you. If not, just please enjoy watching. Miss Kit, what's our first step? Well, you have the recipe. Let's see what we need. Let's see. Okay, what do we need? Step one, in a bowl, combine flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. Cut in butter and temperature reserve coarse crumbs. That's our first step. So, so we're going to use two so flour is two cups of all-purpose. Okay. This is all-purpose flour. Mm -hmm. Whoop. And we decide to half the yes. recipe. Because we don't need all these scones in the library. <laughs> what? Okay. There's two cups. Cups into our bowl. And then the sugar and sugar, six tablespoons. So we're only going to do three, three tablespoons. tablespoons. Measuring spoons, mm -hmm. just three? Just three. I like that it has not a lot of sugar. Yeah. Right. Three. There you go. Okay, now we have baking powder. Baking powder is four and one half teaspoons, so we need two and one fourth teaspoons. I have to get my eyes checked here. Here, hold on, we gotta find the teaspoon. Teaspoon. Thank you. Now you have better eyes right than me. So how many tablespoons again? We need two teaspoons and one fourth. Two. And half of a half. Half, half of a half. A quarter? Quarter. All right, I do have a quarter teaspoon. Oh, that's nice. I have good baking yeah, stuff. All right, here's a quarter. Yeah, a quarter. Hopefully they rise. And then salt. So we need another fourth of a teaspoon. Well, you know what? Here's the trick of salt. Put a tad in the... In your little fingers there and just go, shoot, there oh, you go. There you go. Throw it off your back. And then we need cut in the butter. Oh, see, now here's the trick, Miss K. Okay. You take this. Okay. I take this. I use frozen butter. Okay. Because frozen butter for scones is much better. So you're going to have to. Butter is one half cup plus two tablespoons. Okay, so here's a half a cup of butter. But we're cutting that in half, aren't we? Yes. So we need a fourth of a cup of butter and one tablespoon. So you put about five tablespoons. Five tablespoons. Okay. So if you want to mark it like that, okay, you can grate that down. I will grate. I will down. watch your fingers. Open that up and okay. grate it down. And if you do not have a grater, you can always cut very. You put fine. it in in pats of butter. It just needs to be made crumbly. I think that's the butter I used the last time we were here. Um, it works. It works. Okay. There you go. Butter. And that's just good. so you know, Miss K, if you want, I have gloves for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> I wore gloves just in case because sometimes when you mix these, you do need to wear gloves. Okay. I find it easier. My hands are not filthy. And it's a beautiful day outside. Oh, it's beautiful. But it's chilly in the library. <laughs> That's not easy to do. Oh, should we take a minute? Yeah, no, that's okay. Yeah, it'll take a little bit. What I'm going to do is the next. Does it call for an egg and milk? It does call for egg and milk. Would you like to? Use yes, your recipe? because I, will. I have the milk and I brought the egg. It calls for two eggs, but we're just using one. And I brought an egg from home. I will mix it. What I find is easier and to mix it. Kiddos who think math is not important, cooking is all math. It is math. And your fractions. Right. So you need to know how to oh, do two tables. Okay. So this calls for three quarters of our cup. So we can this is a workout. It is a workout. I'm going to pour the milk in. Can you do that? You're stronger than I am. Come right. on. I'm just making sure I don't go over the line. A little bit of milk. You can always use more milk later if the dough is too tight. I'm going to take my trusty whisk. That I, my green whisk comes in handy in this library. You remember from our leprechaun video? And you whisk it up so the milk and the egg come together. Yes, that's why. I figured you could 
do it today. It's easier if you put it, lean it against the bowl that way, in the crook of the bowl. And it gives you a little. Oh goodness me! I've been doing it the hard way. Why you always ask questions? Hey, I was there. That's okay. I did wear my gloves. There's that sugar. I also have. I use sparkling sugar for the tops of the scones. I always add that on. Ooh, that sounds lovely. I love it's cracking a crack. the sugar. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. <laughs> Let me see how much you got down. That's, that's pretty good. much, that's fine. That's good. You know, we can do, we can take, and because I have gloves on, you can just do it that way. Graders okay. are sharp. Yes, you have to be careful. I graded my finger last night. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so I also put, brought in a wooden spoon. I'm mixing the egg and the milk. What happens with scones is, you just have, if you over mix it, it doesn't come out very well. Okay. You mix it minimally because it has to be crumbly. Mm. The texture has to be crumbly. So you're not really beating it or using a mixer. What I do is at home, that's where I brought the gloves. I usually use my hands. Smart. Thank you. I will close for you I'm too, you know, if you put it over my buttery hands. You might. You know, butter helps them go in quicker. Yes, and we may want to butter, now that we have a little bit extra butter, you may want to butter that pan. Well, I don't know what's on that pan. That's just paper. Okay, do that out too. Can they use pans for it? We could use pan. We want to get this butter, that's where we grate it, and it's frozen. If it needs a little bit more milk, which ours does, I'm going to stand for this one. Leverage. It just needs to be a crumbly mixture. But, do you remember what these are, Miss K? What are we making? Blueberry scones? What are we missing, though? Blueberries? We have to get the blueberries. I almost forgot the blueberries because I was going to put it on that pan. And we have our oven preheating to 350. Always preheat your oven. And ovens are different, so yes. just understand your oven may be a little harder and a little colder. So that's a little bit more milk. And because I'm using frozen blueberries, they need to cook longer. No, usually with fresh blueberries, I coat them with flour so oh. they don't drop to the bottom. But this should be good. This? I never knew that. See what happens when you hang out with me, Miss <laughs> Kay. We learn many things in the library. We try and learn something new every day. Yes. Okay, I think that's third. I think that's plenty of butter. Butter. Okay. Can you just get the blueberries and yes. pour some in. Yes. Now that's up to you how many blueberries you would like in your scones. Those are big fat blueberries. Okay. I'm just going to use my little pan. Yeah, just throw a couple in. That's cool. Just, <laughs> only kidding. <laughs> you got it. That's why you have to be on your toes. Okay. A little bit more pack because we're going to round it out. We're going to make a ball oh, okay. of dough. I'm going to squish those blueberries in there. You know, you could take one too if you want to squish. We'll make two batches and we'll, we'll cut them. Okay. Squeeze. Yeah, if you move it around enough, you can make it into a ball. I'm missing blueberries. Little bit, yes, luckily you have gloves on so they don't. Oh, so what I do is make it make it into a ball, flat it out. It's probably about three inches, five inches. Make it out to that. Should Squish I? it down. Well, start taking the rest of it. Yeah, you don't have to make the whole thing. So it comes out to look like that. So what I would do is, 
I'm going to just move this stuff out of the way. Place it in your pan and flatten it a little more. Now they rise, but they really don't expand too much. There you go. And I use this little tool to cut it into quarters. One side is always bigger than the other. See? Oh. And what I would do is move them away a little bit. So when they bake, they're not on top of each other and you don't have to recut it. There you go. You can... Mine's a little wet. Yours is a little wet. I kind of melted. I would squish days. yours down a little bit more because you want them kind of the same height so they'll cook evenly. And you too might use my dandy, handy oh, dandy tool. <laughs> Well, these are turn out bluer. <laughs> Yours are much bluer than mine. Okay, and then we space them out. I'm taking my gloves off. Space them out. And what I like to do is put a little sparkling sugar on the top. I would put a little milk, but I didn't bring mine. So just add some sparkling sugar. Would you like some sparkling sugar on yours? You may want to... I'm not touching you. <laughs> don't put your sparkling sugar in my sparkling sugar. I will do yours you for you. You don't want blueberry juice no, in your I sugar? No, I don't want blueberry juice in my sugar. There you go. So you put a little sugar, I'm getting a little bit more sugar on this. You can put a drop of milk on each one with your finger, but I thought that would be icky. Um, again, throw it over. And this is what they should look like. Now they go into the oven at 350 for about these are kind of small, so I would like say 12 minutes. So just keep an eye on them. Keep an eye on them when they start to brown. Do you want to bring these in? You want me to bring them in? I'll take them, I'll take them in. You want to set a timer on your phone? Sure. I will set a timer on my phone. So this is our blueberry skull recipe. If you guys have any other recipes you'd like to do, please let us know. And I personally want to thank Rory and Jacob for submitting this entry. They sent a video of their blueberry scones and thought we would like to do this. So I'd like to thank Lori and Jacob Ferguson for putting their stuff out. And they're my grandkids, so that's why they got a little special treatment. But I put a timer on my phone for 12 minutes and by the magic of 12 minutes going by, the magic of library, they smell delicious. So long as you in. Well, you know. ah, they smell really good. Look how they rose. These chocolate? No, those are blueberries. <laughs> I didn't confuse people. Those are blueberry scones. Ah, they're a little hot, so be there careful. Is. I'm just gonna just be careful. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna try this. One. I'm gonna try the smaller one. You know, they're moving little, it back and forth. A little warm. What do you think of our blueberry scones? Delicious. <laughs> you have to try. Very good. They came out real nice. And so. sugar on top? Mm-hmm. Mm. Good. Very good. Okay. Now, do you think they can make strawberry scones with the same recipe? You can make strawberry, you can make raspberry, you can make any kind of scone. Cheddar cheese scones are absolutely delicious. I love them. Delicious. I want that Yes, they they are very good. Um, 